Some call it the world's biggest party, with roots that reach back well over 100 years. Now, for the first time since 1912, Rio's famous carnival has been cancelled. The COVID-19 pandemic to blame. Organizers say it will not be resumed until there is a vaccine. Sheila Martorelli has made carnival costumes for the past 40 years. This year, she and her daughter have barely kept their sewing business alive. The demand for the intricate costumes gone. They focus instead on uniforms and masks. I lost my husband to COVID. I didn't lose 80%, I lost 100%. I lost my house and my income. It was a huge blow. Starting over again with something new is really difficult. Sheila estimates she's earning only 20% of what she would in a normal year. It's even worse for the 15 other seamstresses she would otherwise employ who are not working their machines. But Sheila and her daughter are not alone. Rio's Carnival creates thousands of jobs every year that have now vanished. And it's especially hard for those who totally depend on the festival for their livelihoods. 37-year-old Alcione Carvalho would normally be receiving a salary as a samba dancing flag bearer, one of the most coveted positions in Estacio de Sa, one of the most traditional samba schools in Rio de Janeiro. She's now trying to sustain a living using Instagram. This is the first year that what no one could ever imagine actually happened. It has complicated everything because we depend on Carnival for our income. So now we are left not knowing what to do and trying to figure out ways to make things better. She's giving online lessons from her home so people can stay in shape, forget about the pandemic and enjoy the passion of Samba taught by a fast-stepping expert. It is unclear when it will be safe enough to hold the next Samba Parade. The COVID-19 pandemic has done what not even the 1980 flu or two world wars could, close down one of the most critical and iconic aspects of Brazil's identity. Lucrecia Franco, CGTN, Rio de Janeiro.